What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And today we're going to be talking about the way I'm changing my team yet again. Now I left off with you guys talking to you about Ken Houston, right? The dude's garbage. And it's not that he didn't do and serve his purpose while he was on the squad. It's just the fact that we've actually outgrown him and we need to make sure that we have dudes out there that can cause fumbles. Because whether you got a guy that's doing leapfrog and jumping out of the stadium like he's a Super Mario brother, it doesn't matter. If they run the ball every play, you got to have players out there with the higher hit power to be able to make the plays. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this guy from the lineup. All right. And then we're going to actually go back. Um, we're going to go back into our actual uh, item binder and we're going to look and see what's going on. Now, I haven't uh, previously checked what his value is, but it doesn't matter. It's time for him to go. At certain points in your games, guys, you got to realize that you uh, these guys, you know, they, they wear out their welcomes. You got to get rid of them at certain points where it's like, you know what? We got to make this move. Now, um, you know, he's he, he was pretty good for a while. Like, I'm not going to say when I'm calling him garbage because I'm done with him. I might end up saying he's raw, like when he gets his... um you know, his uh, ultimate legend or whatever. But at this point right here, it, it doesn't really matter, bro, because he, he's not doing everything that he needs to do. And uh, nice Afro, by the way, but it, we, we have to make a change. You know what I'm saying, Michael Jackson? Like, we got to make a change, bro. We just have to do it. And right now is probably the best time to do it because we can actually invest in somebody with more hit power way above the 90 with the 94. And he has really, really good, decent speed. All right, so for the most part, I don't think his power up is, is going for much so yeah it's 2000 we're not worried about that we're gonna try to get what we can get as far as his coin value is and then we're gonna have to go after Jamal Adams why hasn't Nick Bosa gotten a power up yet I have no idea that dude was just running right through oh my goodness bro what they did to the Browns was just it was illegal in 50 states what they did to the Browns but we don't need to talk about that um, what we need to do right now is we got to find his 89 overall card right here and let's see what his value is um, all right, so he's 105. So if we if we sell him, right, you know what's going to end up happening? We could actually how much is how much how much training is this idiot? I don't know what he's doing, man. Like this dude sucks, bro. Like I don't look. I'm just saying it out of anger. Like he doesn't really suck, guys. If you got to grab him, all right, he's 3570. So realistically speaking, right, if we sell him for 100 and then have to go ahead and buy back stuff, it really probably wouldn't work out because we're going to still need training to get Jamal Adams where we need him. So it could kind of be not really making the right move in doing so. The other thing we have to check also is, do we have, did I raid sell Jamal Adams power up when I got rid of him or, you know, cause I, when I go into a blind rage, I just start going wild and I don't even remember what I was doing. Um, let's go ahead and check to see if we actually raid sold him. Did we? Yeah, we raid sold him. Like, yeah, I think cause he was going for a decent amount. Um, so that would mean that we would have to spend 64 his power up as well in order to make sure that we're getting the maximum capacity of the flux capacitor. So with that being said, um, let's go and check. Let me, first of all, let's, uh, let me see the, okay, how many collectibles do we have? Let's see the collect, bro, why am I going all offense? I'm pressing the button way too fast. All right, so we have, okay, we have an 85 to 86. So we also don't have his 84, I think his card was. And then we could probably make 200K right back for like selling off um, Lawrence Taylor because, you know, 89 to 90, I don't really have anybody else on the squad that requires that at this point that I want to power up that's going to be valued more but we do need to make this move we have to make this move now um let me see who else do we okay we got T.O. that's 91 Chorus Lesher gets powered up to that yeah so okay Larry Allen gets okay so we got Kevin Mawai too and Munoz the 89 to 90 so you know we got we got to see what the cost is of those guys because that might end up uh being a factor to what's going on so let's go check um Let's go check those prices. But I know LT was like 200 and change because dudes don't respect him as a man. But, um, okay, so he's 25K for that. Uh, his power up is 49. Okay, so we're looking at 74K just for that. And then what else do they have? Then that, That's his other card? That That's it, right? 74. And then plus whatever whatever his um thing is over here. Why did... Who is this guy? Jamal Agnew. That dude's garbage. Bro, you know what's crazy? Somebody just sold him for like 225 and I could have sniped him and I didn't. And then now I'm like, all right, yeah, I should have probably sniped him. 
Um, let me just give you guys a quick insight into what we're doing right here. You see that 94 hit power? That's gonna jump to a 95. That's gonna put him into another whole threshold. I understand that his zone coverage is an 87. We would love it to be like a 90, but Kevin Houston also had an 80, 87 zone. So we're gonna be pretty much getting the same thing. You know, he probably go to an 88 with his power up and then we'll see how that works out. But I believe he goes to a 95 hit power. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work that out. But um, the first thing that we have to do though, let me see, what what, what is the, uh, hold on, hold on, his uh, pop 72. So we're gonna check the 72 overall and then just make sure that we're getting the cheapest price for the power up. Cause we have to do it, We we it doesn't really matter at this point. We gotta do, what, 49? Hold on, wasn't he just, what was he just a while ago on the other one? Cause we just do the math and it was 25. Hold on, bro, what, what? Did they, 49, it just went to that? Hold on, wait a minute. Somebody must have bought the other one then. Because were we just looking at 49 or something cheaper? I thought it was. No, it was 49. All right. So, okay, somebody just bought it for 23. Like, real quick, real fast. So, we playing around right now. Dudes know what it is. Like, that dude knows that that hit power is going to mean something. So, um, yeah. So, that's going back up. So, we're going to be looking at 73. Okay, so, that's fine. We'll go ahead. We got to snag it. We got to, okay. Or, or somebody else has to snag it before we snag it. All right, so let's go ahead because somebody is thinking the same thing that we're thinking. They need to get more hit power on the field because, you know, dudes are just doing whatever they want and it doesn't really matter. They're just running the ball 55 times and people are hitting them so soft, it's like they're putting them to bed like they're a baby. We can't do that anymore. So we're going to go 88 speed. He's going to go to 95 hit power, right? Okay, so that's what we're looking to do. That's ultimately what our goal is right now is to do everything we need to do in the middle of that and get him to that amount. The issue is... If we sell Ken Houston, it wouldn't make sense because we're gonna need, we're gonna need what? 890, yeah, that's 890 and that already. So you see what I'm saying? Like we're gonna need, yeah, the 3000 will be good. We're not gonna add anything else to it. So realistically speaking, we probably at this point are gonna have to sacrifice Ken Houston for training because he's only going for 100K at 89 um, and then go from there. So that way we don't really, you know, hustle backwards. So. Let's go ahead and uh, finish up what we're doing right now. Okay, so they put him back down to 23. Did that just happen? All right, let's snag him. All right, so we have that part. Because I thought I had the power up. Low key, guys, you guys can keep your power ups and just go that route and just see how it works out for you if you wanted to do that um, or take it off of somebody else. But for me right now, I don't even remember who I put the power up on, so it doesn't matter at this point. The bottom line is we could, okay, there it goes. There he goes. 231 did we get him all right we got him so you can see that you see what i'm saying like we got him for the cheaper price so it don't really matter we, we did what we had to do we got him at 231 it would cost too much more to actually do it another way so it makes sense that we'll sacrifice um ken houston to get a better strong safety at this point which is what i would urge you guys to do because I, you already see what tillman does so most of you guys are mutt masters you know what tillman does yeah, this guy right here with 95 hit power, you better believe somebody's gonna be dead on the field. So let's go ahead and, and uh, finalize that situation. So we'll go, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna find Ken Houston. Where are you, Ken? Ken, where you at, bro? We're looking for you, where you at, Ken? All right, so we're gonna sacrifice him for the greater good. Uh, 3,500 training, okay? Now we're gonna go to newest, and we're going to find all of the cards we just got. So we're gonna start with the power up. And it's so weird because when I raid sold this power up, I wasn't thinking that I would need him anytime soon. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I just go wild because these guys are just mad slow, he's running around with an 84 speed, and dudes are just dotting him all over the place, you just start to rage. It, it gets crazy, bro, but I gotta really learn how to control myself when it comes to max rage, because, you know, I could have saved that, you know. But actually, I sold, I probably sold this power up for more than I just, did I sell this power for more? No, I think I sold this power for like 30. So it probably, you know, everybody knows now that you need the max hit power, so he's gonna go back up in price, but okay, that makes sense. Um, so the market value for, you know, the hit power action actually went up right now, so yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll add this real quick. Okay, so that's BAM. All right, we're not doing any abilities. You know, look, listen guys, you could put Enforcer on him. I know he gets Enforcer, right? But it's not a tier one like the other guy because he's a 95 overall, but he gets it. Okay, so he does get it. But again, I don't really, I don't think you need it. I, don't, I really honestly do not think that you need it. I don't think it's necessary for your, you guys to get hit sticks. Um, the computer still will hit stick him because of his hit power. And that's something that a lot of people are complaining about. I don't really care about that. Like, I already know I'm going to get hit stick when a guy clicks off or even if he goes for a successful hit stick. So you have to avoid it. You have to either fall on the ground or you have to, you know, cover up and do different things. So I don't care that the CPU does it as long as the card 
is supposed to be able to get those type of hits off, it doesn't really matter to me. All right, so now let's take a look at what he's doing. 88 speed, 95 hit power, 88 zone, and that's what's pretty much going on with him. Now, when we look at the strong safety position, we obviously have Pat Tillman, okay? So, you know, it is what it is. This dude's riding the bench. Like, everybody knows this. Like, it's like saving money with Geico, and I'm like, it's not an advertisement. Like, everybody knows that, you know, dudes that's running around with Pat Tillman, you're going to fumble the football. Like, if you run into him, computer or not, you're going to fumble. So don't worry about that. Now that everything is set and we have the player and you know hopefully you guys are going to understand what I'm talking about as far as hit power goes these guys right here these are going to be your main force field against the guy that comes out in tight formations and just wants to run around like a moron these guys are going to need to be out in the field now Calvin Johnson he has high impact block and he has decent block shed right so depending on how the guy keeps running the ball on you you could possibly put him at corner or you could put Jamal Adams at corner and like back him up with whatever, just in case if a guy is really, really going wild. Plus, Calvin has the 92 zone, so he will be all around that if you needed it. I just want to point that out, that it would probably make more sense if somebody's running the ball crazy to have Calvin as a corner as opposed to Jamal Adams, okay? Because he had, you know, he'll get off the block, he'll do other things, and then Jamal Adams and Pat Tillman will be in the back to clean up and just make sure that dudes never want to run the ball again. So let's go ahead and look at the comparisons between the two to kind of give you guys insight of what you're gonna be getting. Pat Tillman, 91 speed, right? Just like Ed Reed, who we're not worried about. If you guys watched my previous video, let me know right last so I can know that you wrote, you know, you watched the last video. But Jamal Adams is definitely gonna be a better version of Ed Reed right now simply because his hit power is so excessive and he's ready to rock and roll. Okay, his man coverage is a lot better than Pat Tilly's. Zone coverage is the same. And we all know that Pat Tillman plays pretty decent zone. So there shouldn't be much issue unless we need to actually get him to an 89 speed, right? I think we probably have to do that. That might be something that we need to do. All right, so we're gonna probably, um, all right, we'll add that to him and make him an 89 speed. That way, it's pretty much Ken Houston, but with the max hit power. We should not be giving up big plays because they're the same speed, theoretically, unless EA Sports is doing something else that we don't know about they should be able to move the same way. And you're not burning Ken Houston when he's back at safety. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy a sprinter, gonna craft that, we're gonna put it on him. All right, so now um, with the way that that is, 11 to 30, now he gets that speed, okay? He's good to go right there. We're gonna go back and go check it out because sometimes you have to back out and come back in for it to register. Regardless of the situation, he is going to be a 90, well, an 89 speed now, so that's good. He has the acceleration and he has the speed. Now with everything else, I'm gonna to continue to sell off some of my cards and make some of my coins back uh, that you know that that are in my uh, in my binder right now because this was an upgrade that I needed to do and I told you guys when it's an upgrade that we need to do based on all the people I've been playing we got to make those moves so I'm gonna go through my stuff now check out a couple other things if you guys have anything you need feedback on or anything like that let me know leave it in the comments and we'll go from there and pretty much like good luck guys go out there try to get your you know, um, Jamal Adams, make sure you, you're ready to go for the run game because that's really what's hurting us a lot right now is just the run game. And that's what I get uh, most concerns about within the game. So we're going to counter that by just having a whole bunch of guys that can knock your block off. All right. Let me know what you're thinking about Jamal Adams. If you already have him, all that good stuff, leave it in the comments. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Be safe. One love, y'all.